Update 2 on the subtropical storm in the Mediterranean Sea, the Ionian Sea actually, just off the coast of Italy. It's got winds of 45 miles an hour and a pressure of 999 millibars. Uh, we expect that it's peaking right now and may have just passed this peak actually at 39.3 degrees north, 18.1 degrees east. Gale warnings are in effect for large parts of Italy and for the coast of Croatia. There are also thunderstorm warnings for large parts of Greece as well. We expect the storm will weaken from here on in, a little bit of stalling in the next 24 hours and then it will accelerate off towards the east, passing over southern Greece, at which point it will probably devolve into a remnant low as it enters the Aegean Sea and then off into Turkey and it will probably merge with something else over there. Um, right now though, it's just off the coast of Italy, it does pose a threat 54 miles east northeast of Crotone, Italy, which is the closest major point to the storm's center. No CDPS rating because it's not a tropical cyclone and 100 miles west-southwest of Corfu, the closest point on Greece. Um, and you'll see shortly how the storm's expected to continue towards the southeast over the next few days. Here's the percentage chances of tropical storm-like conditions. Uh, they're on the right-hand side of your screen. You can also see the gale warning at the bottom there for many parts of Italy and for large parts of Croatia. Weird thinking about this storm because we were looking back at the uh, imagery and saw that part of this storm came from Tropical Storm Rena, though not all of it, so we were very tempted to name this Rena, uh, but we haven't uh, because the circulation came actually from Iceland and has now ended up in the Mediterranean Sea. Just a little bit of historical context there. Uh, it does have a history um, and right now it is looking pretty good, probably peaking as I say. So the wind field somewhat significant, although we don't know exactly what the wind field is since there's been no ASCAP pass, but then you'll see it moving towards Greece on Saturday, uh, overland, and then into the Aegean Sea, probably nothing left of it by then, Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then onto Turkey, landfall there. It may have a center of circulation, but we don't expect by that point it will have any significant winds at all. For what it's worth, here's the sea surface temperatures, around 18 degrees Celsius around the storm right now, 18 to 20. Those temperatures will remain fairly constant along the storm's voyage. Um, you can also see high amounts of wind shear off to the southeast, but where it is right now, it's not looking too bad, believe it or not. And the satellite imagery next up will show will, will be quite impressive, I imagine. Here's the visible. This is what it's looking like right now. Some people might shout an eye feature. Well, it is an eye-like feature, but it certainly isn't an actual eye. Um, and certainly isn't an eye wall that's encapsulating it there. It's a typical subtropical appearance, um, and the wind field uh, looks like it um, exemplifies that as well. There's the infrared imagery, how the storm's been developing significant thunderstorms perhaps off the coast of Italy um, and could move overland, especially onto the eastern coast of Greece as well and Albania could also see some significant thunderstorm activity which may well lead to some local flooding. That's all for now, if there's another update required it will be in the next 12 hours. Force 13's North Atlantic Monitoring Service has swung into effect for this storm in the Mediterranean. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 all in text. We're also on Facebook and Twitter at that same uh, keyword. And you can also add Force 13 on Skype, the address has changed there. And you can find Fool 13 and extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.